This is KRHD News. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Brittany DeFran. As we're still seeing blue bonnets and other Texas wildflowers across Texas plains, many people are taking the opportunity to snap their spring pictures in the grass. KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler has more on when the search for the perfect shot can become illegal. Whenever you stop to take pictures in a field of blue bonnets, you may be thinking, what's the best angle for my photo? Well, law enforcement say that you should also be thinking, where have I parked and what could I be walking into? There are a few precautions some people neglect to take when stopping for blue bonnet pictures, particularly when it comes to respecting the integrity of private land. Donna Gandy's family have owned land in Independence for five generations now. Frequently in the spring, families will trespass onto her elderly mother's land where red blooms grow. Uh, they just continue to, to trespass on, on the property. Um, and, and they're not even asking. You know, they don't even come up to the house and ask if they can, can take pictures on the land. While it's important to make sure that you're either on public land or that you have consent from a landowner to be there, state troopers also urge families to avoid parking on the edge of the road or in highway medians. The Department of Public Safety says it's important to ensure your vehicle is several feet away from the pavement, your hazard lights are on, and you're not directly against a major highway. Reporting from the Brazos Valley, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.